get shot at you a couple uh, weeks ago about a girl that you're not even with no more. Uh, that's right. and then, what is it with you and Ross that's just Listen, been going on for so long? I spent a seat, right? Nothing else works for him yeah. outside of mentioning me. Yeah. When things get bad, you mention me, it gets covered for you. You see TMZ is a 50 Cent said this is going to be bad for Irv Gotti's career. Yeah. I get covered across the board. Yeah. They get covered on the hip hop blogs. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. And you watch because I have nothing else to say. You just see it happen periodically yeah. as it goes. Yeah. You know, yeah. you see that big white elephant, yeah. that property he lives at? It costs more than the nightclubs. He's in the nightclubs. Yeah. We know what they can give him. Pay you more than they can pay you because the room can't hold enough people for them to give you the money to, to stay there. He can stay until we a squatter, holding on to the leg of the chair that they move. Mm. But that's what it is. It's just a part of presentation. Yeah. Come on, bro. You can see this. You don't need me to say that you know this. Yeah. Look at it. What kind of rich nigga cut his own grass? Why are you out there cutting your own grass? <laughs> you trying to save money, nigga? You don't want to pay for the lawn to get cut, huh? Let me ask you the this. The AC broken in the mother. Let me ask you this. <laughs> See, the deal's at the top of the hill. They really be wanting you to lose like he just bought the Holyfield Mansion. He bought a jet. Oh no, fourth annual car show? <laughs> I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent and the other little dude asked him a question, um, small talk. But ultimately the question that should have been asked was, you jumped out there during the beef, the West Coast versus the Canadian. And I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who, who you, you say changed your life? I ain't know. I thought loyalty. I thought. But you did shut the f Once the Canadian took the L, you got totally quiet. You did. So... Since these niggas count my pockets, I'ma go and let them know my next move. My next move finna be Thriller in Manila 3. Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield 3. Once Tyson knock out Jake Paul, I'ma get Tyson and Holyfield to fight in my front yard. I'ma put a ring right there. And it's gonna go down in my front yard. I want the judges to be Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart, academics. You hear me? The ring gonna be right there at the promised land. Thriller in Manila, the biggest. In acres, it'll be right here in the front yard. You understand what I'm trying to say? This is where we'll put it at, right here. We'll put it right here. This is why I wanted that. Thriller and Manila. I have 15,000 people right here. Just right here in the front yard for the car show. This is where we're going to put it at. And 50 Cent, whatever you trying to do in Shreveport, I understand the land is very inexpensive. So that's why you chose that. But you could put that on the other side in my backyard. I got another 150 acres on the back side. I won't even notice whatever y'all little thing is y'all doing. We wouldn't even have to cross each other paths. So I'll put you way in the back. Trust me, y'all can film all y'all little whatever shows. Ghost part nine. 50. He tried to get into the promotion business. He and Floyd was supposed yeah. to try to do something. Right. And then he got licensed in New York, correct? Um, no, th we did business together, actually. Okay. Um, Canelo fought Kirkland. 50 Cent had just signed Kirkland to a promotional contract. Okay. We had a fight together. Canelo knocked him out. And that was the end of uh, 50's that, uh, that promotional promotion career. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. 
UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and here we go once again. If you know how the game go, everybody gets a win in the end. As they going to use the controversy, chaos, confrontation, confusion, and conversation to promote whatever they got going on next right now in the media, the blogs, and the rap and hip-hop news. Now, as it got announced, Wallow and Gilly have an interview dropping Sunday on Million Dollars Worth the Game. And if you know, Ross and Gilly, they had their little back and forth on line at one point in time, and it was very entertaining and funny. I most definitely was laughing at how they was taking shots. It was just something to look at in that moment. Never thought it was going to get serious or real or nothing like that. But Ross, 50, having their little issues over the past, Gilly said, you know what, let me go and ask him what's going on with Ross right now. 50 jumped out there, Ross caught wind of it, and as expected, he's going to always return fire and use it as an opportunity to promote whatever he got going on. If you look at his post, he's going to tag everything that he got ties to in his business with his story. He's going to promote, promote the latest single with the latest artists he's working with, and then he's going to repost everything that the blogs is posting to keep the, the uh, traffic circulating on whatever he got going on. This is also something that 50 did in the past, using beef, using drama, using controversy as something to promote whatever brand he do. And he doing that to this day right now, just keeping it all the way a thousand. This is why I say in the end, they all know what they doing. They all know the conversation is going to lead back to people clicking they, they stuff that they got in the algorithm. And I think this went down out there at the Human Harmony weekend with 50 Cent and Shreveport for this interview and everything like that. But if you notice, Rick Ross posted up the clip from the Shannon Sharp and De La Hoya interview that just went down recently when they was talking about 50 Cent having a fighter going against Canelo and he lost and then they bust out laughing. 50 Cent got back at Shannon Sharp and De La Hoya for that at that time as well. And 50 Cent was making fun of Rick Ross cutting his own grass, insinuating that 50 Cent is, I mean, that Ross is broke and he can't afford to cut his own grass. What rich niggas doing this or that. I know out here in the country, you know, niggas be cutting their own grass out here in the side and everything like that. I don't know Rick Ross' real situation. When I seen him do it, I said he probably cut a little piece of it. That nigga not cutting all that grass. That's a lot of cutting. Unless he doing like a two, three-day spread. Like, man, I cut this part today, cut that part today. But there's some niggas out here that cut their own grass, though. They got them big acres and things like that. It just depends on who you is and how you get done. But he was saying, man, he be performing at these clubs that's smaller than his house. And if you know, you know, we know basically, like, we know what he getting paid to be at these places. What's really going on, nigga? You really ain't got it like that to maintain that crib. Ross says otherwise. Ross say y'all pocket watching and things like that. I personally could care less. And he also went and said cut the grass so the snakes can show and acting like he really want to get this Tyson versus Holyfield fight on the promised land and everything like that, which that is Holyfield old crib and Holyfield not really in the shape to my understanding to really get out there for a boxing match. But this is just Rick Ross capitalized on the moment, promoting his brands, tagging what he got going on and everything. People be here for the entertainment. You go get some few laughs out of it when they be back and forth. Who knows, man? Every once in a while, this right here flare up between them. And I really didn't see, I don't remember everything that went down with the Drake and uh, Ross battle when 50 Cent started commenting on it. I thought he just jumped out there when he seen Ross get into that situation in Canada and said, oh, you took an L, I'm most definitely finna get involved and make fun of you now, Ross. It wasn't even nothing with anything else going on other than he seen Ross take the L in the situation in Canada. I can't remember for sure, but I expect this from these two. They both use that blueprint to use the drama and the blogs and dissing and beef to promote whatever they got going on right now. Gilly jumped out there wanting to get involved, so Ross was like, you know what, I'm going to take a shot at him and just call it Wallow Show and not even acknowledge him. But tell me what y'all think. It's really just entertainment. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.